All right, it's Gabe, Mouse Star Telescope. What are we talking about? Some uh, sea stars. Hi, it's Gabe from All Star Telescope. Today we're going to be talking about some budget-oriented telescopes in the upper price category. It may sound like an oxymoron, but it's not. More money isn't always more better, but in this case, it is. This is the Nexstar 6SE. The Nexstar line of telescopes are motorized go-to schmidt cassegrain telescopes. The telescopes use hand controllers for alignment and navigation, and offer a lot of magnification for viewing planets especially, but their large aperture is also good for deep sky objects, faint objects. Schmidt Cassegrains are usually known as a uh, very great generalist telescope. Having a fully capable go-to scope like this makes it really easy to tour the night sky. You don't need to worry about moving it yourself and finding objects yourself. You still can, of course. You can move it with the directional keys on the keypad. If you want a tour of galaxies that are up at that time of night or star clusters or whatever you fancy. All Nexstar telescopes come with a variety of accessories, including a diagonal, an eyepiece, a finder scope, a tripod, the telescope, the mount, and the hand controller. You can power it either with AA batteries by plugging it into an outlet or the power bank. We offer a couple of different power banks from Celestron. You can use any of them to power your Nexstar telescope. You can really use any power bank as long as it supplies 12 volts. Next stars come in a few different sizes, 4, 5, 6, not 7, and 8 inches. This is the 6 inch model. The more aperture you have, the more magnification you can get and the fainter stuff you can see. But there is a reason people go after bigger scopes. A little bit of extra aperture can make a lot of difference in terms of what you can see. It does pay off b big time. <laughs> Big time. Big scope, big time. Big scope. Pays off big time, baby. <laughs> there is a balance to be had between portability and aperture. A lot of people find that that balance lies in the 6 to 8 inch aperture range. So with that said, if you plan on taking your telescope to more locations, uh, you might consider the 6 inch. Or if you're okay with a little bit more size and weight, the 8 inch will offer even better views. Premium telescopes call for premium accessories. These are some of our recommended accessories and add-ons. A power bank for powering your scope on the go without eating through AA batteries. A phone mount for attaching your phone to the eyepiece for getting pictures to share of Jupiter or Saturn or the moon. And I recommend a nice higher magnification eyepiece as the next stars do only come with one. Again, a good option are the Omni Plossils from Celestron. Uh, 6, 8, 10 millimeters, anywhere in that range is good. And as always, the best accessory, education. 110 things to see with the telescope. Learn about what you're going to look at. This is the Skymax 127 AZ GTI from Skywatcher. It's a 127 millimeter of Maxitov telescope. on a go-to alt-as mount. Maxitov telescopes are particularly known for their contrast. And a lot of focal length in a really compact package. So they're especially good for lunar and planetary views. It comes on the AZ GTI mount, or AZ GTI mount, depending on your preference. It includes encoders in both directions, which means you're free to loosen the clutches and manually move the telescope whenever you want without losing alignment. Speaking of alignment, the mount can connect to your phone through Wi-Fi and let you use your phone as a controller. Or optionally, you can plug in your own hand controller. Its optical design makes it particularly well suited to planetary and lunar viewing, but being a go-to mount, it's also quite capable for deep sky observing as well. This is the 127mm version, but this kit also comes with the 102mm Maxitov telescope, which, although delivering less magnification, is more portable, less expensive, and lighter weight. It does come with quite a few accessories, a red dot finder, two eyepieces, a diagonal, and a mount for attaching your phone and taking photos. But if you wanted a nicer phone adapter, we also carry these all-aluminum ones from Move Shoot Move. 
like other motorized mounts, it can run off of eight internal AA batteries, but another option is to power it with an external power pack. You think you see stars now? You haven't seen nothing yet. This is the Sea Star S50 from ZWO. It's been selling like hotcakes and for a good reason too. It's an all-in-one imaging system. Uh, it'll navigate to whatever you want in the night sky. It can do live stacking. It can do image processing. It's an electronic telescope with the imaging fully integrated, which means there's no eyepiece for you to view through. Instead, it shows you the night sky through your phone, your tablet, or your laptop. It connects through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and it also has a USB-C port for charging and for offloading data. The Seastar comes with a tripod, a solar filter for solar photography, and an internal light pollution filter for photographing in the middle of a city. However, we also offer our own suite of goodies that pair nicely with the Seastar, including some 3D printed focus masks, lens caps, two inch filter holder, a dew shield and solar finder for helping you find the sun and keeping dew off of the front element. And in my opinion, most helpful is our tri-level adapter which makes it much, much easier to level the telescope for alignment. Well, there you have it, folks. These are our recommended scopes. While it is nice to spend less once in a while, one of my favorite sayings is, buy once, cry once. You definitely get what you pay for with these scopes. As always, links to all of these products and accessories in the description down below, and thanks for watching.